Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch, and today I'm going to show you how to use one of my favorite brushes, a rigger or a liner. It was originally used for ship's rigging. So tiny little lines. It doesn't hold quite as much paint or water because tiny little lines. And I especially love using it for tree branches. Now notice I'm holding it way back here. You can even hold it here and flick, just flicking strokes. Isabee makes the classic rigger brush because the very first rigger brushes were Isabee's. Very, very long, thin hair, and the rest of the brush pretty much is normal. I was saying that I love to paint trees. Look how it does the hit and miss. This is very smooth, just a kid's drawing pad paper. And immediately it becomes very easy. You don't want to do curving strokes like that for something like a tree. You want to let the brush hit, 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 hit. So if you do these little hit and miss, it looks like tree branches very quickly. Now here's another rigger. It's a Cheap Joe's Miller's Golden Fleece. So you see it's a very different sort of stroke. It's a little harder to get the jagged. It's not that you can't do it, it just takes a little bit of practice. And it's not quite so hit and miss. And of course, number one size here and a number one size here are completely different. And for comparison, you can see how much the golden fleece goes up. Now obviously these three are my brushes and I use them all the time. And the real trick is just don't hold it down here. It will be a very even, very boring, very controlled line. Hold it up here. Since one of my favorite things to paint with the rigor is a tree, here you go. Just dash in all the branches and everything. Remember, it's the contours that make you recognize an object, not what's in the middle. And the rigor is perfect for that. You can get all sorts of little squiggly branches and limbs. Have fun with it. I use all three of these riggers. These two are usually on location because they're inexpensive and easily replaceable. But on the other hand, they don't last very long. This I use at home in my studio. It's more expensive and it lasts a lot longer. So these are disposable. This is more investment. But it's only about $15, so not too much of an investment. If you want to try uh, the entry point of a really, really good brush, this is it. I hope you've learned a little bit about holding a rigger and you've seen the exciting things it can do to transform your paintings. Happy painting.